Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Take your favorite white face paint and cover your entire face, excluding your eyes and your mouth area. Use a primer over the top of the eyelid and underneath as well. You can use any bright color you would like, but I like this MAC pigment. It's purple and really shiny. Just press that right into the upper lid. And for the crease, use something a little bit darker. Here I have a purple bluish color. This happens to be NARS called Santorini. It's from an older palette, but you can find something similar. Blend that really well into the top crease and go underneath your eye also. Next, I'm going to shade deeper and I'm using a color by MAC called Beauty Mark Velvet. And it's just a really nice, deep, shimmery shadow. I'm gonna blend that right into my eyebrow directly and all the way around underneath where I just went with that bluish color. And literally just blend until you can't blend any more. Fix any fallout by going back over with a white anywhere you need to. Use a small round brush and press down all the way around the eye socket where you want the petals to go. I used black, but you can use whatever color you want. And just shade it out using a little bit of water. And then go back over it one more time with the dark purple powder. Here I wanted to use a really light color for the highlighting and it has some sparkles in it from a Sephora palette I have. Anything light and sparkly will do, but press that into your eyelid and then all the way around the petals. Emulate this on both sides and then add some fake lashes too to give it even more of a pop. Oh, and excuse my nails, they're full of paint and gross, sorry. So next I'm using a Tag Body Art Split Cake in Black Iris to create the roses. Now if you've never done roses before, I would suggest looking up a few tutorials and practicing first because it does need a little bit of attention when it comes to making the swirls. And split cakes are awesome once you learn how to use them because it's easy to blend the colors together with just one brush. Here I have a large flat brush and I'm just making four swirls. Petals is what they're going to end up being. But I'm going to make the four swirls and I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to move on to the forehead. So on the chin we're going to do a complete rose but on the forehead we're just going to do a couple rose buds. So the top of that rosebud is just one swirl going up and the other one going down and across. Again, just practice this a few times before you do it so you don't get so frustrated. I know it took me quite a few tries to actually get one of these. So now we're going to move back down to the chin and create those same little rosebuds that we just did on the forehead. So now it looks like a complete rose. go back in with a darker color. In this case for me it's going to be black and finish off those edges of the rose. Do that on both sides and then you can start to draw in a few of the little petals down towards the bottom. Using an even smaller and thinner brush go back in and make little swirls or whatever little designs you want to make. For the spider webs, go back to using a thicker brush, make five lines that fan out from each other, and use the little brush again that we use for the swirlies, and make small U shapes that will make up for the inside of the webbing. Go back in with a pointy eyeshadow brush, I use that same deep purple, and start making some shadows right underneath each U to give it that 3D effect. Do the same underneath all the rose petals and leaves to make it really stand out. Using the same brush we used for the spider web, go back in and create a cheekbone. Do that on both sides. Also, make more swirlies, shapes, whatever you want to do. Just really have fun with it. Play around, whatever you want to do, whatever colors. I went in and made a few little lines here and there. Went back in again with the fine brush and made some more swirlies, more black marks on the cheeks. Honestly, anything you want to do. like. Having fun is what it's all about here. Go back in with that dark eyeshadow one more time in that brush and just go right underneath those cheekbones so we can get that 3D effect again. And then I use that light eyeshadow to make a shimmer across the cheek like you would highlight when you do regular makeup. Add some more dots and petal marky thingies. Yeah. 
for the skull nose, make two points aiming upwards and just kind of come around the sides of your nostrils. It'll look like a little baby fox. Don't you see it? It's so cute. And then fill it all in with black. You can use lipstick, but I just continued to use the black body paint. Outline the entirety of the outer edges of your lips and then go along the inside with the lighter color, in this case purple. I also used the pigment to go over it once more to add some sparklies. And then the thin black brush, or actually thin brush with black on it, there we go, and draw in the lines of the lips and then a few more details around the eye. Alright, here is our complete sugar skull look. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram at Bangle Queen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.